Hello everyone, it's Sakurai Rider Rage here, bringing you some Shadow Fights 4 Arenas. And this time we're going to be playing Azuma, which is another character I got from the Season Pass. I would say Season Pass, more like the Rank Ladders, I guess? Eventually I hit a, a certain arena. When did I get him? Hold on. There you go. I got him here. And he's a common. I believe it's a common, right? Is this common rarity? Yeah, it's common. I believe. I don't know. He could be common or rare. I don't know for sure. But he's a very interesting character. So pretty much his kit, from what I've been playing as, he pretty much silenced their shadow abilities. He any hit from him allows it to pretty much lock him from doing shadow moves, which is sometimes a game changer. And I chose painful. Neutralize that like when you know the attack ends your opponent takes damage So and even if they kind of try to come back as long as like the ends it they're gonna take damage Or I could choose to make it longer, but I prefer that I did get a weapon customization from him as well Which is this one. I already equipped it on it apparently like I guess weapons have different stats Who knows? I don't know much about it, but we're gonna be playing them on ladder or rank ladder I guess you could say So let's see if we can try to get a win. He's kind of a weird character to play as though. His moves are very unique. So you got to learn to decide which move would be what. Because it's very slow. He's not quick like certain characters like Jeh who's fast. He's just a very patient character. So, yeah. Hit him in the back. <laughs> Just break his spine. But yeah, you gotta be cautious with that. This guy's really just jumping, huh? Yeah, this guy's just a little weird. Yeah, that was my fault. Just throw a tiger right in his face. For me to do my shadow, they have to be pretty far from me. To do my shadow move. Of course, he kept rushing towards me, so it's not gonna activate. But yeah, his moves are very weird, so I'd rather go for his like his kick moves, his close combat kicks, and then his like his weapon. And throw my kunais as well. My range stuff.
slash there you go yeah like I said his, his shadow has to be in a certain range for me to fly towards them he's not a good character I say he's like decent he gets in there when he needs to See what I mean? This character is like... Range is weird. Keep running away. I'm just gonna come at you. You can play that too. That's what you get. Get up in a box as well, so we'll see what we get. Yeah, it's just gold. It's not that great. So you kind of want to play like distance, I guess, from him. If they get close, just do your kick moves. You're gonna either way silence them for not doing stuff, and they take damage. It just it is. His up attack is weird, and his lowest cat is like a certain range as well. Alright, that's why we gotta be cautious. He does like to get in the in your face, so you gotta be cautious with this character as well. He's basic, but he's good basic. This guy throw my kunai's at them. Never mind, I slashed him. I like this character just because he's a little bit more slow and patient. Of course, you know, those characters are going to be quick like Jet, who does all these combos, or like a swift a sword slash like uh, Keeble. Or the tanky ones, like, uh, who is it? I forgot his name. The dude with the mace and stuff. Or the close range ones. So, like, him being perfect, very, like, plain and simple. I like that. As long as you can silence the shadows, you can do a lot of damage. Gone job.
He took damage because, like I said, once you your ability, once my chains go off, you take damage. He's going to take damage from the chain, so I'm going to put pressure on that. Get more shards of him, I'll take that. So far so good. We haven't lost yet, we haven't ran into a player that hits like a wall though. We're fighting against a lot of uh, this guy. Got him. See what I mean? Like, get in his face, he has no range. Keep running away. Keep running away. Poke damage. It's not much, but you kind of... It's it's just... He is a very weak character when you get in your face. So you got to be cautious on that. He does suffer from in-your-face characters. So, obviously, close-range characters are going to be like his weak point. He could poke... But he has very slow moves that uh, require that. This will be the last match. So let's see what we can do. Man, we are fighting lots of these guys. Get in there and then...
Gotta turn off his super. The whole point is just to silence them. And I get that. Your shadow move is your strong point. Damn. Cool night. Guy got desperate. He was waiting for that shadow move. I let it happen. Sweet. So there you go. Azuma, I like this character because it's very like simple character to kind of get the hang of yes his moves are slow yes a quick player could just bum rush you and just do all this stuff and he can't even get in there the only way you're going to do damage is by doing your maybe your kicks just to put pressure on them or silence them but if you do get in the range of it and you can poke him from a distance to kind of do some damage he's not bad i i like basic characters i guess you could say like something that's easy to pick up and he's very easy to pick up for beginners i will say until you get something better He's just like a, a helping hand until you get something a little bit more better, something you got the hang of. But his whole silencing shadow is by far one of the best things I like about it because sometimes people's shadows are too strong and they could do so much damage to you and turn the tide. And at least you can either keep it long term or put it some no damage on it after it ends. But I like it. So yeah, this is uh, Asama gameplay. This is a Sakurai Ray same place.